Good morning, everyone. We're going to try to do something different here this morning and do some digital drawing. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, I see we have some people here. And let me just refresh this other page over here. One moment. Get a little closer to the mic. Okay, so let's... Um, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, one moment, one moment. I just... Um, I don't have a lot of screen real estate today, so I'm using a separate monitor. And uh, it should be interesting, should be interesting. Let, let me just move over some of um, these comments over here. So Helen is visiting with us today. Razor is here. Sebastian is here. Michelle... Uh, welcome to the live stream. Nancy is here as well. Beautiful. Aurora and uh, Sabi is here. Great. Aura is here. Stacy. Uh, awesome. 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 Let's see. Let me move this over down. So today's going to be a little different. I, I won't go too long today. Uh, just a little bit of figure drawing with uh, the digital pencil here. And I'll explain my materials. Giorgio is here. Uh, you, you can draw along with me. I think it would be kind of fun. Uh, Malavika is here. Barbara, welcome. Phoenix. Um, you know, some of you who are members of DTO, uh, Phoenix, you're included in that. Uh, your emails like are, are bouncing. I, I need to figure that out with you all. There's like 20 of you who are members who show up uh, to the uh, Zoom class and, and your uh, emails keep bouncing. Uh, that's no good for you and it's no good for me. Neil, welcome. Marie, I appreciate you joining. Angela, Oh, God, we have a lot of people here. Colby, Gadi Gabi, Wawan is here. Awesome. David's here. Kat, good morning. John, Frankie J. <laughs> uh, Aiden, Martina, Jose, Kat. All right, cool. So, and we also have, God, I, I from Denmark, I K O E D N. That's above my pay grade. I don't know if I can pronounce your name correctly. I'm going to butcher it. I apologize for that. Um, Dana and Karita. All right. From Sweden. So we have Denmark and Sweden showing up in the house. Uh, Doug, welcome. Appreciate you joining us. All right. So let me get started because I'm not going to go too long today. I just want to do a couple gestures for you and talk about something different. Um, you know, normally I draw with a pencil. The last three live streams I've drawn with the um, white charcoal pencil. And uh, I'm like, yeah, OK, let's switch it up. Let's do something different. I was drawing digitally for the first time uh, in class because usually when I do my um, I got gotcha you cat. Uh, yeah, I. Put the recordings up on the website, although I'm late with that this week. All right, Terry, welcome, welcome, welcome from San Fran. All right, let's get to this. Let's get to this. So what am I working with today? What are my art materials? Well, you can see this is my Cintiq pen, okay? And it's a it's called a Wacom, W-A-C-O-M, Cintiq, okay? And I like to use, you can see that this is actually worn out. It's a little shiny over there. Uh, I like to use the skinnier version of the Cintiq pen. They have the fatter version. Welcome, Moises. Um, and so there are these like little things that insert. Uh, let me move this over. Where can I put this? Let's put this down over here. Uh, there are these like little pen nibs that insert into the tip of the Cintiq pen. Okay. And they come in all different uh, ways. Uh, this is more of like a dry felt marker. Uh, and it, I like drawing with this the most. Uh, so you can get like these like little packets of pen nibs. Uh, these are my favorite. These, I don't even think they sell them anymore. And, um, they're like, they're black felt pen nibs. I've only got four left. They wear out very quickly and uh, I love these. I can't find them anywhere. Uh, but I've been using all different pen nibs. Hard plastic or the generic ones. And the hard plastic ones are really not that good. They're, uh, they go, you use this like little tool here and you just put, pull down and you pull the pen nib out. Okay. And that's pretty much how that works. I got shaky hands here today. Um, so now the screen is just, a, it's called a Wacom. I think it's Q. It's been many, many years. They, they don't even have this model anymore. Q24HD. Uh, I think that's what it was called. I think now they call it the uh, Wacom Pro 24. Uh, they're always switching things up. And uh, so let's get to it. Okay. So you don't want to hear me talking all day. Let, let, let's get to some drawing techniques. So let me just switch my screen. And if you guys can't hear me, um, just let me know uh, in, in the chat. Now, 
Uh, this is a model that we use in class uh, at the School of Visual Arts. Uh, we've used this model on the Zoom classes for Drawing Tutorials Online members. Uh, if you want to learn more about Drawing Tutorials Online, you can just click below and I've got information in the click more uh, button, uh, show more button. Okay, and uh, if you like this video at the end, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you don't have to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Let's get started here. Now, what you see on the screen, uh, this is going to be new to me, so if I'm a little clumsy today, I apologize for that. Um, I can hear you. Okay, thank you so much, because uh, normally I have my screen set up a completely different way. So now what you see here is a little different. So what I was doing is, um, let me just make, let me just move one more thing over so I can see what you see. Okay, great. Uh, so what I'm doing here this morning is just scribbling. Okay, so same thing with the pencil, we're doing it digitally. So when we warm up digitally, um, and some of you guys are going to hate what I'm doing here today because it's digital and I know that you're a little bit more traditional hardcore and I get that. I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit. That's all for you and for me so I can kind of keep it a little bit fresh. Um, so uh, in some of my other tutorials on YouTube and on drawingtutorialsonline.com, I like to um, suggest to do this first and then I like to suggest to do circles okay just to warm up like that and then what i'll do is i'll scribble i'm going to draw this from scratch in a moment just hang in there with me i just start to scribble and and all of the pencil lines that you see here it's the same as that okay so what you're just doing mentally when you draw is you're saying hey well what's right below his lap muscle okay and uh, what's the distance from here to here and let's look at this negative space, okay? So you're doing that. That's the, that's the difference. And you're thinking about anatomy. But really, like, you, you can get this kind of flowy thing. Um, just like, let, let's do like a little donut here. And let's put some, like, thing on top of the donut that's very round. Just trying to make that do donut round. That could be a bagel, too. So in, like, two seconds, like, you get this little round thing um that is happening okay you're right nancy it's all the same it's just i know there's like die, die hard people on both sides some people hate the digital thing i i find watching digital tutorials not to be so interesting as interesting as watching somebody work traditionally but a lot of my students excuse me for a moment <clears throat> Sorry, uh, a lot of my students work digitally when we work in class. So let's. Um, this is this is easy now. Let's just do this. Let's um, get a big brush and erase this mess. This is the beautiful thing. Let's just go to 100% opacity and let's erase out and let's start over. Cool. All right. Let's try to draw Hansa is his name. Now, I, when I draw, I don't like to keep my brush at 100% opacity. I like to bring it down to um, like in the 20s or in the 30s opacity. So I'll just kind of like give it a test. Now that's a little thick and it would be nice if I told you um, what brush I'm actually using. Okay, there we go. So I am using the nothing fancy. I don't have custom brushes. I'm not a digital painter, although I work in Photoshop almost every single day. So I am using the Kyle's Drawing Box Happy HB. I really like that one. It, it makes it kind of look and feel like a pencil. So now I've got, you know, it's always handy uh, to, I'm gonna draw here in a second, just let me kind of uh, map this out for you. When you find an art material that you like, let me um, switch gears here. Okay, so where is my, one second, one second. Well, yeah, one second. <laughs> oh God, all right, tripping over myself already here. I'm trying to be like all advanced. So it's important that you always have two, a minimum of two of these, especially if you're a professional, because why? Well, what if this falls on the floor and my dog decides to chew it, okay? It's happened. I've, you know, dropped things on the floor 
And sometimes I walk out of my studio and I don't even, I forget. Uh, and the dog could pick it up. It's happened. You know, the dog's gotten a marker and, and you know, made, um, you know, purple marker all over the carpet. So it's good to have two in case you lose one and in just in, in, in case, you know, something happens to it and you have a deadline, like a deadline would be this live stream. So I've got two different pen nibs. This one is the softer uh, black pen nib. I'm going to start with that. It's brand new. So now let's draw. Finally, what are we? 10 minutes in. I'm just trying to explain. All right, cool. Let's do this. So let me move that over. Great. And um, awesome sauce. So let's uh, draw him. Let me move these comments over. And let's close that. Great. Put that in a negative space. Okay, if I'm not getting to your comments, uh, there's a lot of you. Janie Royal Rose from the UK. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of a little off today here, but I, I do appreciate your comments and I do appreciate you watching. So I start the same way. You guys know. And my photo reference is right in front of me. You can see my head looking straight ahead. And first thing I'm going to do is just get a feel for the thickness of the brush. And this Wacom Cintiq comes with a little remote control. So that's too thin. That's a better thickness. So let's go to our history. Let's get rid of that. And let's, gosh, come on, Matt. Really? Let's go down. Awesome. Okay, finally, 11 minutes in. Let's draw. So I have continuous line, okay? And I'm just gonna be loose today with this. I'm not gonna do some like long duration thing at all. I wanna be really sketchy, really loose. Uh, I, I wanna be a little bit more gestural with everything here. And I'm gonna, I'm always about the torso first. Coming on in, I, I love this model because you can see all the muscles and bones. And let's just kind of cruise in. I know, I know, I know this is really probably super small on your monitor and that may not make it so exciting for you to watch. So I'm gonna just try to go fast. Fast means I'm not gonna be as accurate, um, but I'll try. Okay, so now let's just do, um, cling on to what looks easy. So what looks easy to me is always the torso. So let me just kind of relax into this a little bit and let's just get those shorts, uh, something to kind of cling on to a shape uh, because line is hard and uh, shape is easy. Okay, at least for me it is. So now I'm just gonna come on in and get a landmark in and the landmark will be the shorts. Okay, um, so let's do that. And let's come on back into that navel. I'm just looking at some of these comments. Okay, thank you so much, Michelle. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, awesome. So now let's um, keep going. So rib cage. Now I'm gonna also show you how I, I, I erase. And uh, let's do opposite C. Okay, this would be the weight um, on that opposite C. Okay, let's come on in now and get this into the inside of the knee. Okay, so let, let's not get stuck. Let's let's move a little faster here. I'm going a little too slow and, and I think I'm going to be doing much better if I can move faster. So let's get this chest muscle in. Let's get a little shadow shape. So some of those lines that are mistakes uh, initially, and hopefully you're drawing along with me here today, that would be really cool. Um, you just kind of go over some of those mistakes. So remember, all of this just needs to be super round. Okay, I'm going to go back to my home base and I'm just, you know, warming up here. Let's just put in a little bit of tone. And I'm just going straight up and down with that shading. Let's go back on top of the shorts and just, you know, establish an area where you feel a little bit more confident with what you're doing. Uh, so now maybe I'm going to just kind of kick that out. Okay. And um, now let's, let's lean back and let's just get these shorts are wrapping around that way. And I need to speed up a touch. So let's come on in. That leg's way too thick. I see that. So now we're just going to go like that. So the beautiful thing about working light to dark is that that light line now, I could erase it, 
but it should disappear. It, it should disappear um, once I put the darker line in. So let's get the inside of the knee and let's just cruise on down and put a target there. Okay, and continuous lines, very important to me. I see your comments coming in. I'm sorry if I'm not responding to them. I just want to get a drawing down here for you. I'll look at those comments after. See what I'm doing? I'm just kind of suggesting that foot to kind of feel things out a little bit. Um, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Brush menu was in the way. Um, didn't see that. I should be looking at the comments. I should just stop and look. All right, so now let's get this leg and let's get that foot so let's go back to home base home base for me is going to be this torso continuous line and that deltoid let's get the bottom of the underarm and gravity is going to pull down the tricep okay to that elbow and let's just suggest where those hands are right now with a suggestion. Uh, let's lean back, look at this from far away, and let's adjust something. So I'm going to adjust now in a small little area. Just looking at this. Okay, thank you. And uh, chest is going to kick out just a touch. And now let's look at where does this arm start to kick out to the right in comparison to that one. So this is higher, this is lower. So now let's infuse gravity into the tricep. Okay, let's just come on up with a quick gesture. Again, we're being very gestural today. Um, now let's just suggest that head, okay, as a simple shape like that. Now when I do that, uh, first thing I look at is that negative space between the chin and the shoulder. So I'm gonna lift that up. Hopefully you guys are working along with me here today. Um, so now I'm just doing a generic kind of head shape. Uh, his head's pretty small due to the camera. There's a little distortion. Uh, we had a class this week on four-point perspective, and there's four-point perspective happening with the head due to the camera lens. So we're just going to do something like that for now, and maybe one day we'll do a live stream on four-point. Okay, so let's... Um, Come back in, do a little bit at the chest, suggest, put a little bit more tone over here. Maybe now we can come back in and do some form lines here and there. Uh, you don't want to leave the inside of the body empty. Just looking at this, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'll adjust it. I'm not done yet. Uh, what do you advise to use as a tool for digital drawing? Well, uh, you know, digital drawing brings a whole nother uh, can of worms into the mix. It's not like you can go buy like a $10 drawing pad and, uh, you know, a dollar pencil and just start to draw. You know, this screen that I'm working on right now, it has this thing called an ergo stand. And, and with the ergo stand, um, it gets really expensive. Like we're, we're going up to like $2,500. So there is a barrier to entry. You can get, you know, a simple couple hundred dollar um, tablet and, and, and work on that. Uh, you know, this is just a, an investment for my business because I film video critiques uh, all the time and I've gotten my money's worth out of this machine like 5,000 times over. Um, but if this is just for a hobby, it's an expensive, it's, it's really an expensive hobby. So uh, you just, any pencil will do. This is a gesture drawing. So any pencil on any paper. You know, traditionally, uh, gesture drawing is done um, on newsprint, okay? Because gesture drawing is one of those things that um, you throw out, kind of. It's practice. That, that's like the, the metaphor with it all. So you see what I'm doing here? Um, you know, this is just a target, and I could always lower as I go, okay? So this is what we do in, in, a, in a gesture drawing situation. Uh, don't worry about committing uh, early on. See what I'm doing here with the hands? I'm just kind of doing that line to sit with it and live with it for a little while. Um, so now I can come back, and I can just, I, I'm leaning back now. So I, I want to um, adjust. So this knee, the knees are kind of level. This one may be a little bit lower. I see the comments coming in hard and fast. Okay. Um, I, 
anatomy of other species. Okay, there's a phrase, and that phrase is uh, kind of uh, stay in your lane. Okay, I don't know the anatomy of a lot of different species. I know the human anatomy inside and out, um, surface anatomy that is. So for me to start to dive in and, and start to do like uh, muscles of like a dog, I'd probably fall flat on my face and embarrass myself. Um, I'd have to study that, and it's really not my area of expertise. So sometimes you just you need to stay in your lane, <laughs> especially on a live stream. I, I, I wouldn't want to all of a sudden start doing um, animal anatomy that I know nothing about on a live stream because doing this is hard enough <laughs> as it is and then all of a sudden not knowing the names of, of muscles and stuff that would be brutal um so yeah i mean gosh i'm sure there's like a teacher out there who's really good at drawing animal anatomy i'm just not that guy um so i'm sticking with the human race at least for now although i love dogs i love dogs you know that Okay, let's come on down. So what I like to do when I'm struggling um, is just put in a little cylindrical shape. So I could also just do something like that. Let's get the front of the toes. Let, let me just look a little bit more. Let me draw. So now this ankle, this lower leg's way too long. Let's look. Let's look. Just look and slow down. Let's bring this ankle in higher. Now the foot comes in over here, okay? And so now I'm gonna do a round line around that foot. That foot is way too big. Okay, but I'm just gonna go for it. I just wanna put some pencil down. I like to do the big toe, the cylinder shape of the big toe. Um, just looking at some of these comments. Yep. Um, this reference, I purchased it from this model. Um, so I, he was in class yesterday, and I said, Hansa, I was drawing digitally, and that gave me the idea for the live stream. And I'm like, Hansa, let's just uh, take some pictures of yourself, and I'll purchase them from you. And he did, and I did, and it worked out well. Uh, I needed pictures in a hurry. Uh, I have a huge library of pictures, but it's all nude. And... Um, YouTube doesn't like that, okay? So it's just one of those things that I need clothed for YouTube. And even for Zoom classes, we've been doing clothed uh, in the classroom and on my website. All the video tutorials on my website are all kind of nude. Um, and in the classroom, we work with a model, nude model. But it's a whole nother thing when you have a human on um, online. You know, pictures can be taken out of context put on sites they shouldn't be on. So there's a whole thing. I, I kind of get it. I, I, I almost don't mind not doing the full nude here on YouTube because it's kind of like a little bit of a powder keg and I don't want to get any strikes against my channel for that. Um, all right, so I, I, I don't know how far I want to take this, but uh, those legs look a little better. Those legs look a little better. Um, I'm just looking at some of your comments. Okay. Yeah, he's he's awesome. So l let me just put a, a couple more lines down over here, and then maybe we'll move on to another pose. Okay, because I have other poses that I want to draw for you. So uh, I guess this was a ten-minute drawing uh, because I talked for ten minutes, and now it's ten twenty-three. So maybe this would be a ten-minute drawing. So now, if I wanted to push it just a little bit more, I could come on in over here, and um, let's just put in his serratus anterior. Let's put in uh, a couple of ribs, this bottom rib over here. You know, I, I, I got to be very careful with my value ratios, not to press down too hard. I see those comments coming in really fast and hard, and I apologize if I'm not seeing them all. Um, God, any idea if, yeah, uh, just a rumor, just a rumor. I heard, I didn't hear from anybody officially, but I heard a rumor that SVA will be open in, in September. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back into the classroom with a model and um, with all the students and the sketchbook videos and all of that. It's going to be really fun. Okay, let's just do a little bit of structure with the head. Okay, I want to kick out that forehead. Um, I want to do a little suggestion of shape of hair. 
um, that ear shape, that jawbone, and uh, just a suggestion, uh, forehead is much, much shorter there. Of course, I would spend a little bit more time if it was a finished drawing, but um, right now we're just kind of cruising along here doing gestures. Now this uh, forearm would just be this, this thumb. Just kind of do continuous line over here. That wrist um, coming on down. I don't want to outline that back arm. If anything, if anything, I'm going to press down harder here. Okay, so I, I could really get trapped with those hands. I, I don't want to get trapped with those hands here today. Uh, it's just not going to happen. It's, it's too complicated. It's too small. It's probably like a, an, a less than an inch on your screen. And it's, it's, you have to kind of, um, I'm not trying to get out of drawing the hands. It's just you have to pick and choose your battles when you're doing a, um, a sketch like this. So, yeah, that's my... Now, let's, let's, let's uh, have some fun here with this. Let me just kind of look at some of the comments. Yeah, it would be good to see live people for a change. Yeah, <laughs> you can paint in bikinis and knickers. Serratus muscles. Okay, so the serratus muscles, um, you can't see me, they're here. Okay, they're, they're here. Let me back up with the history. So they're like little fingers that wrap around your rib cage. They're here, they're here, they're here. And then your ribs angle down a little bit more like that. Okay, so it's just an anatomy book thing. It's just sitting with anatomy for a little while and studying it a touch. Uh, let, let's do another one. Let, let, let's do another one. Th this one's done. Okay, uh, I could... I could make it better. I can work on it for a while. I can add all different tones. I, I can start to do things like, um, let's put some tone over here with some form line. Uh, let's do like a little bit of a, of a cast shadow that the arm is casting on the body. Um, now we're getting into a 20 minute drawing and I kind of enjoy doing this the most, but I, I want to do some more short ones for you. Um, so we can do some wraparound lines. We can do some tone over, over here that I'm just kind of going in on a diagonal. Okay, we can do more tone on the shorts. If we wanted to, we can pay a, a little closer attention to some edges. Uh, there's a beautiful cast shadow over here. We can focus in on that. Again, we can play with more muscle separation. And uh, there's some quads over here where the muscle separation, I can do some of that. I can focus a wee bit more on the kneecaps. But everything's about time, and everybody, uh, you know, has to make decisions with their artwork when you're dealing with time and gesture. Okay, and there's a, I'm I'm leaving a lot on the table here. Um, there's a lot more form lines that I can put in everywhere. Uh, there's a lot more delicacy in the edge that I could be focusing on that I'm not even touching. Okay. Okay. Cool. So let's do another one. So bear with me. Um, let me resituate Photoshop. Now let's come over here to layers. And that was layer number one. Let's go to layer number two. Let's try this pose. He's, he's really over to the right. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let me move that. Okay, so let's try this one. Now, um, let me just get a little sip of water here. What time is it? It's 1030. Okay, not bad. We did one pose. Yeah, I saw Brother Bear backgrounds yesterday. One of the students showed them to me. They were really amazing. Okay, let, let, let's try this guy. Okay, so now let me get on that layer. Layer two. Good. And uh, let's get that brush again. Where is it? That, that Kyle's. So once again, I'm using the Kyle's Drawing Box Happy HB for those of you who are interested. Okay. So now let's do this pose. Uh, you know, the good thing about being a teacher at SVA is that um, you meet a whole lot of great models. They come and they go. Um, but yeah, so now, okay, same thing, same thing. So my first line, after I put that first line down, that first line is here on his body, this. That's my first line. 
Okay. After I do that, I need to ask myself the question, do I have enough room for his legs? Do I have enough room for his legs? Do I have enough room for his hand? I think I do. I think I do. Let's try. So let me move some of those lines out of the way. Good. Okay, cool. So now let's, let's, let's keep going. Let me move that out of the way. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I, uh, if that's in the way, just kind of give me some rapid. Um, so I'm going to go here, go here, go here. Okay, so I'm working in a small little area, a very tiny little area, and I, I want to compare those three size relationships. kind of feel like I'm going too dark there, okay? But it is what it is. Let, let's keep going. Uh, let me not be too perfect with all of this. So now chest. So people ask me all the time, uh, how, how do you start, how do you get your measurements? So my, my measurements are all wrong. Immediately I can see it. So how, how do I know that? Let's get a hundred percent with the brush. Let's go over to the photo. When I go to his underarm and I pull an imaginary line down, his butt is to the left. When I come over here to my underarm over here and I come down, the butt is almost to the right. So immediately I know that I'm off. So this is called, <coughs> excuse me. This is called working in a small area and on trying to figure out your size relationships in a very small area. Okay, so this is where teaching digitally is the same thing as teaching traditionally. So then we can get rid of that, okay, and we can start over. That's the beautiful thing about Photoshop. Uh, so yeah, and that's the other thing I'm drawing in Photoshop. Uh, I, 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 Let's get rid of the 100% opacity. Let's bring it down to 23% opacity. Let's scribble. Let's start over again. Okay, good, 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 good. So now move the history. A lot of things to do here digitally that I don't usually have to deal with when I'm drawing traditionally. So now let's kick the butt out. So we have the rib cage, lat muscle, this little fold going into the oblique. And now the butt has to be to the left. So let, let, let's not get too crazy with it. Let's keep going. So now leg and loop around with the shorts. Now you take a leap of faith and you say, okay, if that's where that rib cage comes in, here's the other side of the rib cage. Let's wrap around the chest and let's do something like that. Okay. So he's, he's skinny. We can all see he's super skinny. So I don't want to make that too wide. So there's the angle of the chest. There's the angle of the rib cage. Then the rib cage kicks in. I don't want to do this with angles, but I'm just showing you my thought process. And then we come on down to the lower abs. So now that line that I put in there for the rib cage, I'm okay with that. So just looking at a comment here, are there any other artists? Could, oh, species anatomy. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, yeah, follow along with me with the pencil. So now I'm doing this rib cage. Let's wrap under. And the navel's right on the edge. I think I'm drawing his abs too thick, but it's okay. We'll, we'll erase out if they are. Uh, let's get the oblique. Comes down to the top of the pelvis. And now we have a little bit of line that separates the light from the dark. And it comes up to the sternum. So if I wanted to, some people like to draw with shapes can get a little shape in there. Okay, cool. Now let's cling on and get a sh another shape and that could be the shorts. So the shorts are gonna, they're pretty low. And shape of shorts, do not draw the edge of the shorts with a straight line. Uh, shorts are round, okay? So now I'm just gonna do a quick vertical pencil stroke to get a shape in there. Let's not get stuck. Let's come on over here. I should go very light with the pectoralis. Um, let's just get pectoralis in this side. I'm okay with that so far. Now let's, let's move on. Let's move on. So now we, we're going to get, that's too concave. Let's go convex. Let's go all the way down line of action to that foot. So that's wrong. It's too long, but it's good that you do that. Uh, very, very early on to get the flavor of the pose, okay? Um, yeah, absolutely. So just give me a chance to kind of get all this in. 
Uh, so now we're going to come on in, and we're just going to gesture it out. So let's get that foot. Let's come back up to the deltoid. Don't get stuck in one area. Let's get the head. Okay, this arm over here. Where is that arm starting? Let's get this into that hand. Okay, so th these are just target lines that we're putting in. They're just targets. It, I, it's not perfect. Um, so you just got to give yourself a little bit of time to flesh it out. Okay, so I'm going to get that chest in. So I'm going back to home base. Home base is this area. I want to roll in. I, here's our serratus anterior fingers wrapping around, and then your rib is tilted down a little bit that a ways. I, I, I always come back here because for me, it just makes the most sense over here on the body. I, I understand that uh, the most, the rib cage, I've drawn hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of torsos, and I, I get it, uh, how it, I understand how it works. So I always go back to the torso because that makes sense for me. Okay, so I remember their tattoo um, shows used to be really popular like five or six years ago on TV, like reality tattoo shows, competitions, and all that. I didn't really watch too many of them, them, of them, but I watched one, and the guy who owned the tattoo shop was like, what are you doing? We're slow. I need you to draw roses. And the person was like, why do I need to draw roses? And he's like, well, it's the most uh, asked for tattoo in the shop, so I want you to be able to draw roses in your sleep. And uh, so with torsos, I can draw torsos in my sleep because I've drawn so many of them, and I really understand uh, the muscles on, on the torso. So that's why I always start with the torso, and that's why I always um, go back to an area on the torso. So now I'm looking at the negative space. <coughs> chubby models. Yes, absolutely. Love chubby models. But for me, personally, so you have to understand, what's your style? Like, what do you really like? Um, with your art. Uh, for me, I, I like anatomy. So chubby models are fun and uh, they're great for form. Okay. And, uh, but for me, I, when I draw uh, chubby models, okay, <laughs> thicker people, let's say that, um, I'm chubby. I have, uh, yeah, I love food and, and I'm a chubby model. Uh, if I was to pose, I would be called a chubby model. Okay, so greater trochanter is this little thing. So this is the top of his pelvis right here. Uh, greater trochanter for me would be somewhere over here. Okay, so this is his glute, comes in, and uh, here's hamstring. And we're going to come on in, and hamstring comes down inside of the knee and now gastrocnemius muscle that's what that's called so we're looking at the distance from the butt to the gastrocnemius and these negative spaces so what i can do this is what i talk about all the time this is not gesture drawing um, but this is something that i want to teach you here today so in the critique gallery at drawingtutorialsonline.com i always talk about drawing shapes so what i'm going to try to do here is i'm going to stop with the gesture drawing for a moment and i'm going to try to draw this negative space okay so this will help now where is his heel in relationship to his butt so put that target line there look at the negative space that's the bottom of his foot is the bottom of his foot higher than this part of his shorts yes but i could have those shorts too high so i'm going to lower them and i'm going to kick that out and we're just going to kind of go back to this shape Okay, awesome. I'm not saying it's 100% correct. I'm not saying that. But I'm okay with it where it stands right now. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, Sorabai. <laughs> you don't see my stomach on the live streams. I, I, got, I could lose like 10 pounds. Um, no doubt. No doubt. Um, okay, so I digress. So let's just um, go back now, be a little bit faster. I just love food, uh, very much so. Life is hard, um, and food is fun. 
but I have been eating more apples for a snack. So that's that's a good thing. So now, uh, now lean back. Let's lean back. Look at this from far away. That leg is, this lower leg here is extremely thick because he's pulling it against his upper leg and it's making it become thicker and rounder. So I'm, I'm cool now with this negative space. You know, there's people who teach gesture drawing and they're really talented. And, you know, I have respect for everybody that teaches this because it's hard. But um, I use all techniques. I, I, I'm not going to um, discriminate discriminate against a technique and gesture drawing. Now, uh, this is just, I'm teaching and I'm talking. Gesture drawing is like a two minute pose, a one minute pose, a three minute pose, 30 second poses. Um, so if, if I was gonna do this pose, hopefully you can see this, let's start down over here. If I'm gonna do this pose in like 30 seconds, I, I maybe I would do like a quick technique. So I would do like rough skeleton and uh, come on in with his head. Um, shoulders, let's just kind of get that in. Let's just wrap around with some mummification. Let's get this arm. And uh, so, yeah, maybe I would do something like that in a 30 second pose. Let's get the shorts and I'm um, scribbling. So that's a little bit quicker. And I, I don't really love that. What I'm doing here, it's really supposed to be gesture poses, but I'm going slow because I'm teaching at the same time. So uh, yes, I don't discriminate against techniques when I do gesture drawing. Uh, gesture drawing, there's no right and there's no wrong. It's about your style and the amount of time that you have. And then also it's about practice. Uh, so people always ask, well, wh why even bother doing like a three minute pose? Like what's the point? The point is there's too many points for me to mention here on this live stream. So the point is, is that one, it, it enables you to become faster. Two, it enables you to see proportions faster. Okay. Three, it, it builds your confidence with uh, figure drawing all around because you're just constantly starting over. Let's start over again. Let's do another two. Let's start over again. Let's do another three. And you build your confidence up that way um, when you continually, this leg's too long, uh, when you continually do gestures, you build up your confidence. Okay, so let's, let's roll in and good. Now this other leg, let, let, let's address this other leg. So there's a, a fabric fold, bottom of the privates. Let's do that and let's come on in over here. Let's just curve those shorts around, give them a little bit more volume. Now this leg, this leg comes all the way in here, wow. Cool. And now the knee is a little complicated. Let's start here, opposite C. Let's come on down, just continuous line. And that's, let's go here. Let's go here. And this is really far away. I need to lean back. I would like to lower my seat, but it's not lowering. It's as low as it's going to go. So now let's just put in some shape of value. I see comments coming in. I'm going to look at those comments in a second. Just let me get this leg for you all. Um, so now a little bit of cast shadow over here. So I'm putting in some tone. So sometimes a lot of people don't ah, wear it. Now let's do a measurement thing. Let's take a stop for a second. And let's say what is, let's go to the photo. Let's get 100% opacity on the brush from the leg. What's right up above that leg? Wow, it's right where that knee is. Now, this knee, what's right up above where the knee touches right there. So am I correct? That in the butt, I'm cool with that. That in the leg, that leg needs to come over. So that, that measuring tool, you do that in your mind. Let me just look at some of these comments. Yep, it's totally. You just don't care. You draw for the waste paper basket like a writer would do. If a writer sits down and every line they're going to uh, write has to be like a novel, like classic, perfect, everything, they're never going to write. So sometimes you just got to sit down and draw, sit down and write, and whatever happens, happens. Thank you. I really do appreciate that, James. That means a lot. Um, yeah, the introductory videos... Um, are important. I, I might change them around because I, I'm trying to eliminate the old-fashioned forums. 
I have now one forum uh, thread, I guess it's called. I'm not a big forum guy, so I just want that one thread for people to ask questions for the for the podcast uh, for members only. And um, and I I'm trying to push the live stuff a little bit more, where people can ask me questions in the live Zoom class versus the static forums. All right, so that's our brushes. Let's go to our history. Let's back up these measure lines. But James, I, I, I really do appreciate you joining the website. It means a lot. And I appreciate you joining me here on the live stream. Yeah. So the, the key with the website um, is when people join, uh, some people, not all, but some people get extremely, let's go back to a, an opacity of 20. Uh, some people just get overwhelmed. There's too much content right? And so you have to say to yourself, what do I want to learn? What am I here for? What are my weaknesses? And so you can start with a basic begin here step-by-step course if you just want the basics. You haven't been drawing and you want to go back to understanding about light and shade, tone, and all that jazz. Or maybe you're like, yeah, no, I'm a little bit more advanced than that. I need to uh, I want to focus in on figure. I, specifically, I want to focus in on how to draw the figure from my imagination. Then you would watch either the 60-minute figure course or you would watch how to draw the figure from your memory. So there's all different courses. You really got to know uh, what you want to learn, okay? Or else it just becomes one big, overwhelming, hot mess. Um, that's most ed- online education. When you're learning on on your own, it's one big, hot mess because it's overwhelming. There's the, the web just has too much information, okay? So it's good to just ask yourself the question, all right, I'm here, I joined this person's website, whether it's another artist on YouTube or my site, what is it that I want to learn? Do I want to learn portraits? Do I want to learn more about anatomy? Do I want to learn more about composition? Do I want to learn more about illustration? Do I want to learn more about oil painting? So you just, you, even though there's like on my website, there's multiple courses offered to you in all different subject matters, um, you are in control and you have to decide what you're going to watch. And you do not, if the video is 50 minutes long, don't feel compelled to watch the whole 50 minute video. Even if you kind of skim through it, um, it's going to help you, okay? So, uh, yeah, and then use the photography. If you upload to the Critique Gallery, use the photography that I have and um, upload the photo reference and upload your drawing. That would be really good. Let's, let's, let's finish this drawing off. Um, okay, so it's all right. It's very stiff. Why do I say that this... Hey, Camilla, welcome, Stacy. Grand, uh, well, I don't know about that. I again, always waking up on Saturday. I don't know. I think I'm jinxed. I wake up on every Saturday and I just don't feel well. Um, maybe it's just because it's a super long week and uh, Friday is a four hour Zoom class. I, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not complaining, I'm not venting, but thank you for listening anyway. Uh, four hour Zoom class. I feel so bad for my students. That thing is a flipping marathon. And sitting in this chair and teaching for four hours, yes, we take breaks, but you're still in this chair for a minimum of like four hours. It kills me. So Saturday when I get up, my God, I never feel right on Saturday. This sucks. Um, yeah, that'd be great, James. It's it's a lot of fun. Last week we had the most people join our Zoom class uh, we had 50 people and that class went two two hours long so it's an hour of uh, drawing with the model this was uh hansa uh, was posing for my sva class um but it's a it's an hour drawing with the model and then it's an hour of uh q a and looking at everybody's work okay what would you suggest to someone who was contemplating teaching an intro anatomy class to teach first gesture simple forms intro to anatomy um i i would you know gesture is the beginning then form and then you introduce don't worry about proportion that people get so hung up on proportion that that that's a measurement thing uh proportions are easy you just got to do measurements and you have to um that that's yeah that's not important it's gesture it's the form of the body 
And then anatomy is just memorizing the muscles and the bones. And, and then ultimately advanced figure drawing is you're only really drawing the form of anatomy. So for instance, over here, form of this bicep, um, bicep comes in here and the bicep tendons attached to the radius and the ulna. And this is the form of your bicep. Okay. And so it's a cylinder. And uh, the two heads, I think one of the heads of the bicep up top over here attaches to the coracoid process of the scapula information that's not important. And then there's a biceptal groove in the humerus. And then there's a tendon. How do I know this? Because I pulled my bicep muscle and I went for therapy because it would not heal. And the doctor put their thumb on this tendon on my ulna bone and I saw stars. Oh my God, that was torture. So yeah, that's the form of anatomy. Now your pectoralis over here, it's a cylinder and then it becomes extremely flat. Okay. So there's all different things, uh, but I would say gesture, form, then form of anatomy. I think this is done. I, I, I'm neglecting the portrait today, uh, maybe because I draw portraits for you all all the time. But in a situation that's a gesture pose, we could just draw shape of hair. Okay, so let's just scribble. And he has wonderful form light. So let's bring the form light down. Chin is lower than the uh, trapezius. And then I'm going to just do a very simple vertical line. Yes, his ear is catching light, but I don't want there to be light there. Um, he has a little bit of the jawbone sideburn thing. And now let's just go a value darker. So we have a little dark up top. Okay. And a little dark up top. Notice I'm not dealing with the, with the hand on this. Um, and so now l l l let's do something different. So now I'm using white paint. I'll never forget first year of college, our teacher made us paint with white paint on top of the white paper. And uh, I'm like, what is that? Why? <laughs> but I understand now. Uh, it was about looking. It was not about drawing. So I'm looking at a, a comment here from Sandy. Um, so Sandy writes, uh, hope to join you Tuesday on Zoom. Had to get, gotcha. No pressure, Sandy. No rush. Just join when you can. Okay. Um, yeah, that, I appreciate that, Terry. This is a muscle skeletal thing. I have like herniated discs in my neck. And um, one of those dicks, dick, dicks, there you go. We did it live. We said the word dick. There you go. One of my discs, <laughs> one of my discs is pressing against my spine. And that's called cervical myelopathy. And it creates like these weird sensations in your body, like tingling, numbness, and it's just so much fun. I love it. And it, pr I was up at like 3 o'clock in the morning because my arms and legs were tingling. And I'm like, I got to get out of bed. This is torture. So I went downstairs. And, of course, the worst thing that any human being can do is look up their ailment on the Internet because it's like doom. Like it's the middle of the night, 4 o'clock in the morning, and you're reading about uh, – <laughs> <laughs> you're reading about cervical myelopathy and you're like, holy shit, it says you don't get better. It gets worse. And I'm like, yay for cervical myelopathy. Love it. Love it. So yeah, the, I wish the chicken soup would, would help. And uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm smaller on the video screen today. I am so glad I'm smaller. So uh, yeah. So all right, let's draw with white paint. So I'm going to get a little bit bigger brush. Let's get this remote control going. Let me show you my remote control. And uh, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but this is my remote control. And there's all these like keyboard shortcuts that you can deal with um, and you can set up and it's fun. And uh, it's a little difficult to figure out at first. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm going to just get a little bit of a, no, see what I mean about learning curve? Let's go back and make that. One second, one second. Good, 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 good. So now let's just stick with the same brush size. I'm going to draw now with white paint. I'm on the top right torso near the chest. <laughs> deck. Yeah, I said the word deck. Okay, my mom had the same thing. She got an operation with a whole cage in her spine. 
Okay, that's good to know, Nathaniel. <laughs> I'm laughing. What can you do? Um, yeah, no, uh, YouTube will not like that. You're absolutely right. I'm, I, I, I never curse on my live streams. Is that word considered a curse? Well, I don't know. Maybe for some people. Okay, so hopefully YouTube will not give me a strike against that. All right, that one's done. You want to do one more quick one, very quick? I'll go really fast with it, and then we'll... Um, can somebody tell me what's happening on Tuesday with the Zoom, please? So, Kai, every Tuesday for members of drawingtutorialsonline.com... Uh, all right, Dana, you have a good day. Um, I have a Zoom class, and we do live drawing with a model. So Hansa would be posing just like that, but he's live on video. And we, we draw him. And um, yeah, so f January was figure drawing month. This month is portrait month. Deck is fine. Yeah, that was, that was funny. Yeah. So what I'm doing here on YouTube is just a free thing. Uh, the Zoom thing is, is for the members of DTO. I pay for the model. And, uh, you know, it's, it's more of like a premium thing for people who are subscribed. And uh, they get to sit and, and draw with me and the model. And I teach just like I'm teaching in school, although Zoom is kind of a challenge. Um, how, to, how to draw anatomy in perspective? Well, uh, Dylan, there's... There's, uh, you mean how to draw the body in perspective because the body is anatomy. All right. So actually, you know what? It, it's, it's almost 11 o'clock. We've been doing this for an hour. I'm not going to draw another one. Uh, yeah, thank you all. I, I, I really do appreciate you joining me here today. What, what I would love from you, if, if you can help me out, if, if you can like the video, that would, that would be, um, where do you apply the white? So let, let me just draw a little bit more. So Moises, um, you see, um, let me get dark. Okay, so over here. I'm, I'm over here. Um, the Zoom class is at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, New York time. Um, so I'm over here, Moises, and so what I do is I take the white, and I'm going to clean up my edge line. Okay, I'm cleaning up my edge line. I'm going to go a little bit lighter over there. I can Now I'm on the butt on the left. I can clean up that edge line. Okay, I can clean up that. So some areas that I don't like, I can just... I, th this is not really worth me showing you because it's so minimalistic that you're not even going to be able to see it. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. So why don't we call this live stream done for today? Um, so just click on the show, Camillo, click on the show more underneath the video and, and you can um, find out more about what I have to offer for people just by clicking on some of the links. Okay, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. So, David, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, let me know in the comments, please. Do you like the digital thing? Or would you rather me... I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a traditional artist, not a digital artist, but I, I, would, I would love it if you can give me feedback on this live stream. Did you like this? Was it good? Do you want me to do more digital stuff like that, like this? Um, thank you, Dennis, for joining. Thank you, Michelle, David, Colby. Roscaline, Phoenix, I appreciate you, man. Uh, Neil, appreciate you drawing. Um, Sybil, Godigabi, Sabi, James, Marie, thank you, Doug. Appreciate you joining. Helen, Moises, next time I'll try not to curse with the D-I-C-K, but I don't know if that's considered a, a curse. Kai, Timothy, Anime, uh, well, that's a tough one. Bob, Neil, rather traditional. You got it. Yeah, will do, Camillo, Aurora, Kai. Oh, God, comments coming in hard and fast over here. Aura, thank you, Aura. Frankie J, you be good, brother. Whisper Ghost, digital is easier to see. Okay. You got it, Neil. You got it, Kat. Okay, Moises, thank you for joining, Moises. You have a great weekend. No trust today. She, she Saturday, like, oh, I know she's not in my studio. She, she goes through phases with coming into my... 
Yeah, leave it leave it in the com leave it also in the comment underneath the video as well. That would that would be great because these comments are going so fast. I can look at the comments after. Okay, something different. I prefer traditional. John, thank you. Jazz want. Official looks great. All right, cool. Thank you, Nathaniel. Sabrina, thank you. Okay, gotcha, Sandy. Thanks for this, am I? Angela de Priel. Hope I see. Grazie, bacio della Italia. Grazie. Berkey B. Colby. All right, great. You guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you next week. Take care. All right, where is my... Here we go. Ah, uh, Jess Want. Yeah, I love that brush too. Natha, the artist. John, appreciate, appreciate you, man. Oh, God, that doesn't sound good. Damn. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Sirtawen, thank you. This one, Thon, thank you. See you guys. Have a great weekend. I will, Kat.